welcome to our youtube channel engineer's choice tutor today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is 8086 microprocessor and we will see the architecture of this also in this lecture so starting to our first topic that it, it is a 8086 microprocessor it is developed by intel it is developed by intel in 1978 okay and this is the advanced version of 8085 microprocessor it having 16 bit okay and 20 address line plus 20 data line it contain 40 pins means our 8086 microprocessor it's have total number of 40 pins okay <clears throat> now it have 20 address line what does it mean means 2 to power 20 it will give 1 MB of size okay 1 MB of size now coming towards the architecture of 8086 so our architecture basically divided into two parts the first one is BIU bus interface unit the second one is EU that is execution unit so in the bus interface unit there are some important parts that is memory interface this one is our segment register these are segment and control unit and this is the bus pipeline the data will flow from this only okay coming toward execution unit it consists of registers okay alu unit here logical and arithmetic operation will be performed and it will give the output and two more important thing that is operand and flag we will discuss now so coming towards the first that is biu okay what is that bus interface unit it take care of this take care of all data and address transfer from bus okay first our memory is here it will take means whatever what execution we want to perform it will take data from here and in the register this register they are different segment in this register it will store okay so one by one we will look the uh, different types of register involved in it so firstly this already i told reading data from the port okay but uh, why you are using this because we are using to read the data and the general in the previous uh, lecture also i have discussed that what the main purpose of microprocessor is to fetch the data okay decode it and lastly execute it this three main tasks involved in microprocessor and bus interface unit will also perform the same so coming toward the segment register just now i told this one is our segment register this all give combination of segment register okay and each register having 16 bit of memory okay so we will now discussing each and every register one by one so first one is our code segment just now this is cs okay it is used for addressing a memory location where the executable program is stored means it will store the first memory okay means whatever the uh, memory of any folder suppose we have a memory okay and in this memory the address of a folder that is 0001 okay that is in hexadecimal form so it will store the address of this folder means the cs value will be 001 h okay after that data segment now i will give one example suppose you have a book okay in this book uh, there are five chapters and in five chapter there is a topic number six in the fifth unit there is a topic called sixth so how we will reach to six firstly we will open the fifth chapter after that we will go to sixth topic okay and this topic is known as offset data okay so the function of ds means data segment is contain the offset data okay after that stack segment what perform the stack segment stack segment handle the memory to store data and addressing during execution it handle the memory only okay whenever we are performing any task okay this stack data come to our picture and it's 
handle the memory and which help us to store the data after that extra segment uh, whenever we are performing some operation correct some operation just like addition of some number okay adding we are 5 plus 6 okay 5 plus 6 the value will be 11 but we know that one carry is there okay one carry so the extra thing means the carry part and all the things will handle by the extra segment okay after that instruction pointer the last one is instruction pointer that is ip it is also 16 bit as we know that all are having the same 16 16 16 bit so it's also 16 bit register used to hold address of next instruction to be executed okay it's the main function and the main register of our 8086 that it's hold the address of next instruction means whenever see uh, see I will show you through the architecture suppose this is our segment okay that is 6 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay whenever we perform any task okay one is one task is going on okay it is going by uh, control system then some operation is performing okay so some like addition is going on okay firstly addition is going on by one then what happening the es the es will send at the same time second one also for subtraction okay okay means in the queue format in the queue format this all will be stand okay just like reservation counter we have seen means one by one in the queue they have already present means they will not wait for the others to be executed and after that it will come in the same queue it will be there and one by one it will be executed it will perform in first in first out okay unit method so this is the function of our BIU unit and the last one is control system everyone know that what do you mean by control system that control system by the name suggests it will control the amount of flow of data where to go what execution we have to perform where to send the output where from where we have to collect the input this all taken care by the control system only so i will recap once more the memory phase from where we will get the instruction okay this is the register segment okay from here all the data will be stored okay this one is the adder means it will collect the address of the our data okay this adder performing to collect the address of an data through this bus the segment will come this is our register segment and this is the segment means individually it will come into one to six okay having six bit okay after that control part is over after that it will come to execution unit okay in execution unit okay in execution unit this is known as general purpose register this is known as general purpose register okay this having four up and four down parts this whole having 16 bit okay 16 bits is whole and each having 8 bit okay this also 8 bit total complete 16 bit like this only so we will discuss the execution unit now let's go to the execution unit what execution you need to do give instruction to BIU that where to fetch decode the basic formula we know of microprocessor what they are doing fetching decoding and executing and in control operation on data using ALU and after fetching it will send the data to ALU where the operation will be performed just now I told you also in exam you will get what do you mean by general purpose register then you will explain this all eight types of register okay so we will look one by one the different types of register so first one is our ax and this general purpose register what is storing the temporary data okay and there are eight types first one is our ax means accumulator what accumulator do it is having of 16 bit correct as i just now i told you having 16 bit the first one ah and al both having 8 8 bit see ah ah having 8 bit al having 8 bit both combining giving ax same all will be the function will be different used for arithmetic logical operation okay and this ax is not mandatory to have in 8086 it is just an optional i will give one example suppose we want to add 2 okay 2 
destruction that is ax x i want to add so then the value will be ax is equal to ax plus ax okay means both ax will be get added and it get stored in the ax only so the new value of ax will be modified correct after that come to the picture of bx okay the second register is our bx what does bx means bx is our base register it is also having 16 bit it is primarily used in accessing parameter passed by the stack okay this mainly it's doing the job of passing the parameter which is given by the stack okay for that purpose we are using this base register suppose we have to pass means we are moving the data correct so we will illustrate this example by moving now we want to move bl in bl we want to move 500 okay bl is a register suppose the name of the register is bl okay where we want to move the value 500 so what will the value of 500 now 500 will get updated and it will get stored in bl it is a hexadecimal h is stand for hexadecimal okay hexadecimal now third one is cx that is counter register okay it is also having 16 bit h having 88 that is ch and cl used for looping and rotation suppose the same task we have to perform again and again then this register will come into picture that is counter register okay after that dx what is that data register as the name suggests it will use for keeping the data and for multiplication purpose suppose i have to write 5 times 2 okay 5 times 2 so i will not add 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 5 times i will do just 2 into 5 5 times okay so this register is come into picture that is multiplication of ax bx okay so what the value of ax now ax will be updated by the value of multiplied value it will get okay after that sp that is stack pointer of 16 bit it points the topmost item of the stack i will show you in the architecture sp it is in the topmost okay for this so it will point at the topmost got it after that si si what is that is also 16 bit just now i told you used in the pointer for addressing data and source and si means source index means it will keep the reference of source from where the data will came the same string relation operation some string relation operation will be performed by this source index bp that is base pointer it is also having 16 bit used for accessing parameter passed by the stack means suppose some st our stack performs some operation and it pass some parameter then who is going to help that is bp only that is base pointer after that destination index di the last one is our destination index that is also having 16 mean used to pointer addressing or holding extra value just now i told you that the destination will always handle the extra values passed by the destination index or passed by the another pointer that will hold by destination index that i told you once we will recap against the architecture in a just one minute suppose our any data that is addition of one or two we are passed here okay from memory interface it will come to the our segment register that is cs different different register are there four main register and one is index pointer after that from here it will this what it saw this is the adder or we can tell that it can perform an operation which help us to detect that what is the physical address of that folder from there we will get the data from this bus it will come to the segment it will stay in the queue and after one by one it will perform the action and control system will send this into upper execution unit execution unit actually contain these four type of register and four down means it's containing total eight register okay and it is known as general purpose register just now i have explained you after that arithmetic operation will be performed and it will give output and just now i told you that we have two main thing that is flag and operand so what is the 
uses of flag 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 what will do flag just like carry sign zero this all will be taken care by the flag and the operand okay operand will help us to means uh, operand what operand means sub summation multiplication division this all will taken can by the operands so that's all about 8086 micro processor architecture thanks for watching this video please like share subscribe our youtube channel